Hi, Faith Bible Church. This is Chris Katolka. I am so looking forward to being with you uh, later this month. Um, as we look at Jonah chapter three, you know what is just amazing about the book of Jonah is that a lot of the book of Jonah, the prophet of Jonah is dealing with Jonah's issues and God, with Jonah's personal problems, with God's call on his life, with with the people that uh, God called Jonah to minister to. Uh, all of it has to do with uh, Jonah's selfishness and 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 Jonah thinking about his himself in light of what God is asking him to do uh, to go to Nineveh to call this horrible, wicked people to repent and turn to God. All of this, Jonah chapter one, Jonah chapter two. And you know what's amazing is that Jonah chapter three is only 10 verses long, but it finally gets to exactly what God wanted Jonah to do, to go to Nineveh and to proclaim that judgment is coming, but that there could be forgiveness if they turn to him. And you know what? This is a great opportunity for us to look at what Jonah was doing, to look at how God was going to use Jonah and how God was going to provide forgiveness uh, and bring forgiveness if they would repent to one of the most wicked people and, and, and the response to that as well. You know, I see a lot of correlation between Jonah chapter, uh, Jonah's chapter, uh, three verses one through 10 and what's happening in the New Testament with the apostle Paul. You know, Jonah's the disobedient prophet who didn't want to go. Paul is the obedient one who would go to the nations to announce the exact same thing that guess what? God will forgive you. Judgment's coming, but God will forgive you if you turn to him. God will relent if you repent. That's what we're going to talk about. So you got to come, people, you got to come. I know Pastor Jason won't be there, but you got to come. I hope to see you soon. Bye and God bless.